Texas, his budget proposal includes a 20 cent gas tax hike to pay for road and bridge projects. A car with a 15 gallon tank would see prices go up $3 for every fill up under the plan. Democrat says it's important to improve roads and bridges since some roads in the state are ranked D minus. Minnesota's ranked 27th in investment in infrastructure. To help offset the cost of a higher gas tax, the budget is a working family tax credit for families with three or more dependents. The governor's office saying 44,000 Minnesotans could see an average tax cut of more than $220. You get what you pay for if, if folks want good roads, if folks want to know it's investment, because no one else is offering up how they're going to do this. Because keep in mind, I am done with people promising free stuff without figuring out how they're going to pay for it. Republican State Senator Mark Johnson of East Grand Forks believes a raise in the gas tax is bad for greater Minnesota. He says the higher prices at the pump will drive up costs on things from groceries to furniture the companies have to ship. If you're on a border city, this is driving business out of those communities into neighboring North Dakota or South Dakota or, or wherever it is, uh, which is just another, another thing that gets in the way of people making a life in rural Minnesota. Senator Johnson says a huge non-starter for him in the budget proposal is money to maintain a gun background check system and for courts to process petitions for extreme risk protection orders. It would allow a family member, law enforcement, or a county attorney to withhold a person's guns if they're deemed a risk. He says those funding measures usually are brought forward in the legislature.